Hi, this is going to have to be a short video. I'll explain why as we go. I want to give you a different perspective to the normal one that I give you, but unfortunately to keep the file size small, I'm going to do it with a phone without image stabilizing. So it will be a bit more shaky than the normal. So I haven't had the internet for the past two and a half days, which meant I couldn't upload. Uh, I did walk down to Dwaringbai, I did take some footage and I'll make a video about that and that was at peak flow so it gives you a good idea of what the camp is like at peak flow. Uh, the dams have dropped down, the four major dams, Val, Bloemhof, Van der Kloof and Gerip has dropped down to, they are all of them between 105% and 102% and their outflows have reduced so we are at about 3000 cubic after the peak of 38 and we are now slowly dropping down Uppington is already down to 2000 and Priska is down to 1400 so the peak flow is passed the flood is basically passed and is now dropping down however uh, the weather forecast is a good reminder that we should keep in mind that the rain season hasn't passed yet uh, we, we had clear skies this morning and uh, but a forecast for fairly heavy rain for us 30 millimeters over the next two days and for Kakamas and Kamus there's uh, about 80 millimeters forecast for the next two two and a half days two to two and a half days 80 millimeters so that's a quite a heavy forecast that's the moist air coming down through Namibia from the cyclone that passed over the north of Mozambique Zimbabwe and Botswana so the rains have not passed yet uh, it doesn't the forecast doesn't look like so much rain over such a big area so I don't think we will get up to the peak that we've had I think we've had the highest that we, we're gonna get we don't know it depends on the rain but that's the situation so to keep the video short I'll see you on the next one so that I can upload it with my telephone I have a one bar signal, maybe I can upload it. See you on the next one. Cheers.